Hello, a warm welcome to everyone to this massive open online course on signals and systems. I am Professor Aditya K. Jagannatham from the Indian Institute of Technology at Kanpur. And uh, this course, Signals and Systems, is a very fundamental course. It is fundamental to several applications and several branches of engineering as well as science. Okay? So, what it deals with roughly at a very high level, it deals with the properties, characterization of studying, analyzing, characterizing the properties of systems, their interaction with the systems, modeling the systems, characterizing the behavior of their systems and ultimately designing systems to elicit appropriate behavior from this various signals. Okay? So, and this is fundamental as I said in several applications. Okay? There are several, let me just highlight a few of the areas, a very small fraction of the areas and applications which use these. For instance, in communications, we use them in the design of modems, telephones, modern cell phones for 3G, 4G and 5G wireless communication systems. Okay? Audio and speech processing, we use it for voice recognition, synthesizing artificial speech, audio compression for storage and transmission. We use it in automotive systems, for instance, controlling the engine of a car or a vehicle, the transmission, controlling the fuel injection, controlling, uh, for instance, designing uh, appropriate braking systems such as anti-lock braking systems, etc. The applications and potential are enormous. Some other applications, for instance, medical systems, your ultrasound, magnetic resonance imaging, digital x-rays, image and video processing, image compression, video compression, high definition video transmission, control systems. For instance, in air aircrafts, unmanned aerial vehicles, uh, in defense, for instance, control and guidance of missiles and so on and so forth, geological signal processing, for instance, detection of subsurface mines, exploration, exploration of oil fields and so on. So, the application of these, the application areas of signals and systems, all right, are enormous. There is not an aspect, in fact, I would like to say that there is probably not an aspect of our modern everyday lives that is not touched by one of these several uh, applications such as you either take a television in which you are watching high definition videos or for instance a cell phone which you use for communicating or for instance a car in which you are car in which you are driving or an aircraft which you take to travel uh, from one place to another. There are so many aspects and it, in fact each most of the aspects of our everyday life are in some way or other influenced by one of these applications of the various signals and systems. Okay? As I already said, there is fundamental to several branches of engineering. So, students of several branches of engineering will find it relevant such as electronics and communication engineering for applications in communication systems, image, video processing, audio processing, electronics and electrical engineering for applications in control systems, power systems, smart grid, automotive applications, so on. Electronics and instrumentation engineering, for instance, in the design of control systems, uh, digital control, telemetry and so on and also uh, several other branches, aerospace, mechanical, chemical, you name it, several students of several branches of engineering as well as science also, mathematics, physics and chemistry and so on, all the others in terms of biological sciences, biomedical applications, right? Bio, uh, biomedical signal processing, all these, there are a huge number of applications of this since this is very fundamental. So, students of several branches of engineering, predominantly the electronics and electrical branches of engineering will find this content very relevant and useful. Okay? And uh, the various topics covered are first properties of signals and systems and their classification basic systems such as LTI, which is linear time invariant systems, their behavior classification forward by some of the most important tools, which is also known as the transform domain analysis, that is the Laplace transform the, for the continuous time signals, the, the Z transform, the Z transform for discrete time signals, the Fourier transform, uh, the Fourier series for continuous signals, discrete time Fourier transform and discrete Fourier transform for uh, discrete time signals as well as uh, the various filters and various systems uh, that can be used for uh, that that are uh, the subject of signals and systems all right and uh, again being a fundamental course the prerequisites are fairly rudimentary or fairly basic one needs to understand the basics of calculus such as integration differentiation and also aspects of complex numbers, working with complex numbers, manipulation of complex numbers, series of complex numbers, summation, etc. So, the fundamental, so the prerequisites are very basic. 
all right. So, with that uh, let me once again take this opportunity to welcome you formally to this course students at uh, to this course on signals and systems students at all levels of various disciplines should find the course content very useful and introducing uh, and interesting and uh, I take this opportunity to welcome you all and hope you have a very good experience in this course. Thank you very much.